Bacteria use cyclic photophosphorylation to convert electromagnetic energy from the sun into chemical energy of ATP molecules. This process takes place in the folds of the plasma membrane of bacteria. Inserted into the membrane are photosystems, electron transport chains, and ATP synthase molecules for making ATP. There are also protons distributed across both sides of the membrane. When sunlight hits the photosystem, it excites electrons in the pigment molecules of the photosystem. An excited electron is expelled from the reaction center of the photosystem. The excited electron is passed down the electron transport chain, and its energy is used to pump protons across the membrane. At the bottom of the electron transport chain, the electron has used up the extra energy it absorbed from sunlight. The low energy electron returns back to the reaction center of the photosystem. The process can now begin again. Sunlight hits the electron and excites it. The excited electron travels down the electron transport chain, and its energy is used to pump more protons across the membrane. The spent electron returns again to the reaction center of the photosystem. This process is called cyclic photophosphorylation because the electron travels in a continuous loop. The result of this process is that a gradient of protons builds up on one side of the membrane. These protons flow down their concentration gradient through a turbine engine called ATP synthase. The flow of protons turns the rotor, providing mechanical energy to force phosphate groups onto ADP forming ATP, the energy currency of the cell. This is how photosynthetic bacteria are able to absorb energy from the sun and use it to make ATP.